All right, everybody. Uh, joining me on 605 Live this evening, Jarrett Blumenrader uh, from the South Dakota State University football team. Jarrett, welcome and thank you. Thanks for having me. I got to ask you, as part of the South Dakota State football team, um, what's the juice like in that program right now? You know, runner up uh, last year, I think you guys were ranked number two. Uh, what's, the, what's the buzz on the, on the team this year? Um, as we're a couple weeks into the season. Yep, uh, definitely. Everyone's got a chip on their shoulder because last year was good, but it wasn't what we wanted. So everyone's kind of got a different attitude about them because uh, we want to take care of business the right way this year. I, I wanted to ask you about uh, your high school and prep career. Uh, a standout at Miller Highmore Herald. Um, when did you graduate? And was Miller Highmore Herald playing nine man or 11 man at that time? So, yeah, my start to football was a little interesting, to say the least, because I didn't even go out till my junior year. I was strictly a basketball player until then. And then, yeah, so I went out my junior year, and we were nine man, nine double A, and we were that. Uh, my junior, senior year, I graduated in 2019, and then the year after I graduated, they moved up to uh, 11 man. So what was the transition like uh, from Miller Highmore Herald to South Dakota State? Uh, people, people always talk about the speed of the game between levels and stuff. What was that like for you coming from a smaller school and going Division One? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a huge adjustment. Uh, and I came in originally as a tight end, and uh, I got moved to O-line after my first semester. So right now the position I'm playing uh, – Offensive tackle didn't even exist in nine man, so it's been uh, quite the adjustment to say the least. How how um, how much did you weigh? How big were you coming out of high school? So I graduated high school about two twenty five. I came in here in the summer around two forty, and by my first spring after they moved me to O line, I was right two seventy five around that range. Oh, how 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 is it to eat? All you, all you can want and imagine, and uh, as part of a bulking up and getting bigger process, what's that like, man? Multiple milkshakes a day? Yeah, so I had a fitness tracker to keep track of all my calories and stuff. And when I was transitioning from tight end to line, I was trying to get in the range of eight to ten thousand calories a day. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, uh, I might have put it on a little too fast, but uh. <laughs> um, tell me about the, the strength part of becoming an offensive tackle. Um, obviously, along with that eating, there's a lot of lifting that goes into something like that. Um, how have you grown, like, I guess, because of the lifting part of things? Like, how much do you bench and stuff these days? Uh, all of our stuff is in kilograms, so I'm not real sure on the pound adjustment, but my bench is right around 150 kilos, stuff like that. Uh, it, it's definitely gone up a lot from when I was a tight end. And a lot of that that helped is I really enjoy the weight room. So I kind of bought into that right away. And the whole COVID year getting sent home, I made a lot of strides just being home and going to the weight room every day, lifting with some former college players that were around. And so how does one, um, I want you to tell me about your academic uh, progression. Like what are you majoring in? Uh, one of the reasons I originally wanted to call you, I think you're on one of the all academic teams uh, from this year. What are you majoring in? Uh, what year are you in? And how, uh, how much longer you got to go? So I'm majoring in agricultural business with a minor in ag marketing. And I've got, I'm technically a junior in school, but I've got three more years left. So <laughs> however you want to take that. and the, the school aspect of it was a big change because my classes here at SDSU have more kids in it than my entire town did that I came from in high school. So, but it, uh, everyone here definitely always wants to help you out, wants the best for you. So I've been able to make the Dean's list every semester and strive for 4.0. Um, with the, maybe a couple of extra years there to, to get everything done, you anticipate any kind of a graduate uh, program or some kind of direction you might be headed? Yeah, I was thinking maybe adding a double major, double minor, just kind of seeing where the road goes because that's a 
few years away for me. So I'll just kind of see how things progress. I, I wanted to touch on that point. You said there were more people in your classes than in your uh, town. What, what town are you officially from and, and what's the population there? So I went to school in Highmore, but I live 20 miles south of Highmore. Okay. So I live in a rural area with really nobody around. And Highmore itself probably has a population of right around 500. So um, how, how much do you support do you get from back home? I, I'm, I'm from a small town myself, Martin. And uh, what kind of support do you get via uh, social media or just in person from home? Uh, uh, the support is it's huge. Every time when I go back home, like this weekend, I plan on going back home. Uh, everywhere I stop in town, everyone that uh, sees me is always congratulating me, wish me the best of luck. And it's it's a huge factor and it's awesome to have from the small towns. I, I wanted to ask you about your buddy. Uh, it seems like I saw you post something about Karst Hunter. Uh, good luck. And I think he's opening up the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference play. Um, obviously, you know, playing with him. And um, then he's gone on and transfer. What, what kind of a relationship do you have with Karst? He's been my my best friend since day one because we were uh, we were rivals in basketball from when we were younger, and that's kind of when our friendship really took off. And he's actually the one that ended up talking me into going out for football in the first place. So this was kind of kind of our ride together. And I told him when we were getting recruited, I said, "Wherever you go, that's that's where I'm going." And uh, a little uh, extra help from our head coach in high school, Coach Will Castle, who's a SDSU alum. Little push in this direction, and we both came here, and we roomed together for the two years that we were here, and then uh, he decided it was better for his path to transfer out, and so far it looks good. Are, are you surprised at all that he had over 300 yards passing, and, and I think he had like 67 yards rushing or something in his first collegiate game? Doesn't surprise me one bit. I know the kind of player he was. I played with him every 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 day in high school. So, well, Jarrett, I, I want to thank you for your time today and, and, and joining me. It's a pleasure to meet a guy from a small town that's uh, that's getting it done at SDSU. Keep up the good work up there, and let's catch up again. Thank you. I appreciate it.